It's time, so we would now like to start the meeting for making Hitachi High Technologies a wholly owned subsidiary. The pre presenters today are Hitachi Limited Executive Vice President and Executive Officer Keiji Kojima. Senior Vice President and Executive Officer CSO Yoshihiko Kawamura. So first of all, Kojima would like to explain the outline of this deal. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attendance uh, today. From my side, I would like to uh, discuss uh, Hitachi making Hitachi High Technologies into a wholly owned subsidiary. Next slide, uh, please. This is uh, the key message I would like to deliver today. IT, mobility, energy, industry, smart life. There are five sectors, five uh, solutions uh, uh, that we're trying to provide uh, to offer value, increase value in society. And uh, in the 2021 20, medium-term management plan, we are to make an investment uh, for growth uh, amounting to 2 to 2.5 trillion yen. And we're turning Hitachi High Technologies into a 100% subsidiary. Uh, this is going to be an important investment. Uh, we would like to strengthen measurement and analysis uh, platforms so that we can drive our Lumada business. And by so doing, we would like to push for digital transformation and achieve growth uh, for the overall group. Uh, that is the key message today. Moving on to page two. Last week, I attended the World Economic Forum in Davos. Uh, executives uh, are very much aware of uh, social values and environmental values on top of the economic values. Uh, uh, that's become a major trend today. Moving on to the next page, uh, we are implementing social innovation business uh, to achieve exactly that. Uh, digital space or so cyber space and the real physical space. Uh, we offer IT times OT uh, times uh, product in both uh, spaces. We have the track record and experience that we would like uh, to leverage uh, to help achieve uh, social innovation in society. That is our fervent wish. Moving on to the next page. In the real space, in the physical space, we collect various data uh, analyze that in the sp cyberspace and uh, feedback uh, the results uh, to the physical space. That is the overall thinking. Uh, in many industries, as digitization uh, proceeds, uh, uh, collecting, uh, measuring, and analyzing uh, large volumes of data is going to be crucial as a capability. And uh, we're turning Hitachi High Technologies uh, into a wholly owned subsidiary. Uh, uh, and that is because of what I just said. Uh, we would like to incorporate uh, Hitachi Technologies' capabilities into uh, Hitachi. Uh, page 5 uh, gives uh, 2021 medium-term management uh, uh, plan and the strategic rationale of uh, this uh, move uh, this time as part of the plan. As I said earlier, uh, the measurement and analytical capabilities of high technologies are to be leveraged uh, to promote social innovation business and accelerate growth. That's our thinking. So establishing the platform uh, for measurement and analysis, that's what I would like to elaborate on later. Uh, with that, we would like to strengthen Lumada business and healthcare and industry. Hitachi High Technologies uh, applications for measurement and analysis uh, can be offered and uh, uh, we would like to pursue business uh, transformation and accelerate growth, uh, leveraging uh, these capabilities. Next page. So turning high technologies into 100% subsidiaries. Uh, with that, uh, what kind of growth opportunity are we looking at? There are twofold. One is in the area of healthcare analytics. In this area, uh, we would like to make an entry uh, there are lots of uh, TAM or market opportunities, so this is one area. Now, another is related uh, to mobility and industry, areas related to mobility and industry. 
Uh, based on measurement and analytics uh, capabilities, we would like to enhance uh, various social systems and uh, bring about greater productivity in various industrial systems. As you can see from the pictures on the page, Dr. Yellow in railway, uh, there's a system to measure uh, rails. And it's Hitachi High Technologies uh, who provide uh, such systems for measurement uh, for the way of business. And uh, I believe uh, that uh, this could play a greater role. Uh, and uh, we would like uh, uh, to take this opportunity uh, to uh, spur further growth. Page seven. So with uh, High Technologies being our 100% subsidiaries, what can be achieved? Uh, three things. One. As I'm repeating many times, uh, we are to strengthen the MADA. So integrating high technologies uh, measurement and analysis uh, systems and Hitachi digital technologies such as AI and data analytics. We can achieve fusion and combination between the two uh, to strengthen the strategy for the MADA. Second is uh, that this will uh, lead to strengthening of healthcare business. The uh, diagnostic uh, imaging uh, a business of ours is to sold to Fuji Film, as you know. What to do with our healthcare business after that, you may ask. And uh, we have uh, in vitro diagnostic uh, business uh, uh, as a result of co-creation with Roche. We have a top market share, and this business will be at the core of our healthcare business. In June last year, I talked about this in Hitachi's IR Day. So uh, we would like uh, to implement the specifics of that strategy. Uh, data from in vitro diagnostics uh, can be leveraged uh, uh, to reinforce our healthcare business. And third, uh, front human resources. Uh, and there are those who can put together projects uh, in different localities. And uh, Hitachi High Technologies have a globally competent uh, procurement capability. So a global front business and procurement capabilities uh, can be brought to bear uh, to add to our uh, fundamental capabilities uh, to drive competitiveness. Now let me explain this one by one. So please turn to page eight. This is the strengthening of Lumada strategy. And I have explained the way we are thinking about this a few times. It's simple. So the in the medical and semiconductor area and in the industrial area, we will uh, enhance our measurement and analysis, analysis technology. There will be many diagnostic data. So Lumada will analyze that using AI and analytics to create new insights and in, more specifically uh, to make the diagnostics more accurate and improve the efficiency. Uh, we can improve the QOL and in the semiconductor and industrial area, the quality can be improved, development period can be shortened so that customers, clients, customers, productivity, profit can be improved. So this is, it connects Lumada and measurement and analysis technology. That's the significance. Page nine shows the healthcare businesses, what business opportunities we are anticipating. So healthcare business, Hitachi High Technologies will become a wholly owned subsidiary. And once that is done, this in vitro diagnostics will be the core. So the data coming out of that will be the uh, test data of the in vitro diagnostics. So we call this LAS, Laboratory Automation System. There's the laboratory automation market. So we will assess, access that, assess that. For that existing customers like Roche, uh, we will collaborate with them to achieve, uh, utilize data and automate the laboratory uh, system. Next, uh, using this in vitro diagnostics data and add more data, uh, PHM, population health management market can be addressed. This is an emerging market. We can approach this market. PHM, as you may know, 
uh, finding the disease. It's not just finding and treating the disease. Uh, the day-to-day -day life and in vitro diagnostics data are more utilized more to improve the healthcare efficiency and improve QOL. So post-treatment uh, can be uh, made more efficient, effective. In uh, value-based medicine uh, is now the direction in North America. And so we think this market will be the first to uh, take off. In Japan, we have the regional comprehensive care and uh, similar markets. So in each region, we will see these movements. We think this market will be large. So we want to address these markets. So Hitachi Hitex, in vitro diagnostics, and RIT team can collaborate effectively, including M&A, to expand this business. And one more point is the regenerative medicine. IPS, the auto cultivation facility, is already injected by Hitachi. A high tech microscope and other technologies will be utilized to test the cell to reduce uh, the cells to become cancerous. So, this culture and test, uh, this value chain will be created uh, and cultivate this market. We think this uh, will be the growth opportunity for us in healthcare business. Next, page 10, please. Uh, this is the about the uh, global procurement functions. Hitachi Hitech has great capability, uh, one of which is the deal securing, deal originating capability. So we will utilize that human resource to the maximum. Social innovation business will be expanded globally. This is a big mission for us. So the structure, talents are now being enhanced. And we think this team will be very useful. So this is one key point. Another is the procurement capability. Going forward, we need to enhance our procurement capability and have more cost capability. So Hitachi uh, and Hitachi High Tech's uh, procurement functions uh, need to work hand in hand as to see the global procurement uh, function in each region and P2P, uh, the enhancement of efficiency, uh, and in some cases outsource uh, by doing these two, we want to improve our efficiency. We've been doing this through tra smart transformation project, but uh, we will do this even further to improve the efficiency. Next, page 11, please. So this is the overview of the transaction towards the wholly owned subsidiary. Uh, you are probably aware of this through press release, so I will not go into detail. So 8,000 yen per share, tender offer price. including premium, uh, we think uh, there will be uh, participation tender. And page 12, please. This is the rationale from the financial strategy. Uh, the positioning of this investment is it's a part of 2 to 2.5 trillion yen investment for growth set out in 2021 midterm management plan. So uh, we will utilize the cash on hand and borrowings uh, for the growth, in including this transaction. And financial stability uh, will be DE ratio of 0.5 times. We may temporarily exceed, but this will be the level that we will maintain. And lastly, page 13 shows the schedule of the transaction. Today, we are announcing this tender offer. And from the 17th of this month, 17th of February, we will commence the tender offer period. And 34 business days later, April 6th is the end of offer period. 
And once uh, this materializes, then we will squeeze out and uh, make the high technologies a wholly owned subsidiary. We think the day one will be around July. That concludes my explanation. Thank you. Let us move on to questions and answers. So our staff will bring a microphone. Please state your name and affiliation before asking questions. Uh, any questions? I see a hand in the front row. Question. I have three main questions. The first one is as follows. Synergies uh, with uh, Lumada. You're talking about healthcare business, so medical business, uh, preventive uh, medicine for individuals. I'm sure there is a lot of demand. When it comes to semiconductor business and synergies uh, uh, thereof, uh, it will come later, I think. Uh, but how will it manifest? Answer. Semiconductor business in the value chain for that, uh, high technologies have uh, uh, two products. One is CDM, a testing equipment, and second, Etcher, which uh, comes earlier uh, in the process. Uh, they have two products in the value chain. And the business model, as you know, uh, is based on thorough co-creation, TSMG and Intel together with them. Uh, we create a laboratory and uh, thoroughly we would uh, conduct data analysis uh, for the design to come. So that's the kind of uh, the business model. Given that, in the semiconductor business as well, uh, we will pursue co-creations uh, with customers uh, and data analysis. And there we expect uh, uh, a lot of synergies uh, to be generated. In the case of CDSM, uh, microscopic uh, measurement uh, technology uh, is key. Inclusive of that, as part of uh, measurement and analysis uh, platform, I think uh, semiconductor will be good application and profitability is also high. In the semiconductor industry, uh, I think uh, uh, the industry is uh, uh, assessed uh, better and volatility is coming down. So I think uh, uh, we will do quite well in that industry. Question, thank you. So semiconductor is uh, growing uh, uh, quite well uh, in this earnings uh, reporting, but then uh, demand uh, fluctuate quite a bit. And uh, uh, I think higashihara -san is saying that uh, uh, Hitachi should focus on something that's uh, stabler rather than something with uh, greater volatility. I think one thinking is to call the business out. Uh, but as Kujima-san said, because in the semiconductor business, there's a lot of synergy to be expected from Lumara. So you will keep it. Uh, and uh, you think that's uh, the right decision? Answer. Well, uh, for CDSM and uh, nanoprocess uh, for both, well, semiconductor is still making uh, progress. It's uh, now based on 3D technology. It's becoming finer and finer. Uh, semiconductor is uh, not yet a commodity business. Uh, it's becoming more of a stock-based uh, business. Volatility is coming down, and that is why the industry overall is rated higher by investors. So uh, immediately, we have no plan to do uh, anything uh, special, uh, not just semiconductor, but all the businesses uh, for Hitachi. We look at our portfolio all the time and uh, try to optimize it as much as we can. That's our basic idea. So I have no intention of saying that semiconductor is a sacred area that we will not touch. Question. Well, thank you. And uh, lastly, I would like to ask about human resources. You said that uh, you will utilize uh, human resources uh, from the front business at uh, high technologies. Is that separate from utilization of human resources for Lumada? Answer. Well, front business people, uh, uh, there is insufficiency, deficiency in two areas. One is the kind of people who can thoroughly engage with customers, identify their challenges and problems, and offer solutions. So we need that front uh, people uh, capability, so communication capability. And second is uh, utilizing digital technology. Uh, how can we come up with uh, uh, solutions? Uh, 
So solution delivery type of capability and people. We need uh, two groups of people. In the case of high technologies, I think uh, they are strong in the first uh, type of people. Uh, for the second type of people, uh, globally, we're thinking what to do. Uh, we are now uh, formulating various uh, steps uh, to reinforce such persona. So question, so uh, you're going to utilize high technologies uh, people to offer solutions. So uh, it's separate from the Lumada delivery capability, but Lumada delivery capability is going to be separately developed. Uh, answer, yes, that is the case. So the gentleman in the back, please. Question. I have two questions. First is in the current, in the previous medium term management plan period, your thinking or the way of using money was if you're investing in something, You thought you might as well use money for something that does not exist in the group, and the you have the control over the subsidiary, so many collaboration is possible. But this time, you are uh, making Hitachi High Technologies a uh, wholly owned subsidiary. So instead of taking in some outside external capability, you are making this company that you already have control over a wholly owned subsidiary. So. Did the management's thinking change? That's my first question. Answer. I think the biggest force the f is speed. In the digital era, the changes around the world is accelerating. So in Hitachi High Technologies, they have board meetings and many resolutions are made. And we have another different organization. And if we have this structure, can we win in the global competition? I don't think so. So, uh, not being so engaged in digital, but for the lack of a better word, if we can use time, if we can use time, then we wouldn't have taken this option. But in this digital era, we have to combine many things with digital. If we are promoting business in, under this pressure, simply put, it, uh, things have to be reported to me to keep up with the speed. So, we are changing the way of thinking. So we are now thinking this wholly owned subsidiary is also necessary. Question, thank you. My second question, this may not be decided yet, so if you could just give me a general direction. The semiconductor area, in your existing segment, it is in the industry segment. Will it remain in the industry segment or not? So after the integration, healthcare, healthcare will be in smart life and railway will be in mobility. So as one vertical, will semiconductor remain in the industry or just a general direction, please? Answer, after the integration, the structure, the management structure has not been fully decided. It's not finalized. So if I could share with you my view at this point. If Hitachi High Technologies becomes a wholly owned subsidiary, then it will be in smart life segment. Then railway, the measurement equipment, or the industrial measurement equipment, Uh, will there are many other collaborations so it will be done as one of that uh, from life sector because the the technology development in the foundational part uh, is the r d for measurement and analysis facility and i will uh, supervise that and based on that uh, uh, we will work with various sectors and the headquarter. That's my thinking. Thank you. Any other questions? Question. I have three questions. 
I would like to ask、uh, the first question to Kojima san. This time you're making this acquisition. And when did you、uh, convey your intention to acquire them、uh, to Hitachi High Technologies?、Uh, Hitachi Technologies is going to be a minority shareholder, 48%.、Uh, is a minority shareholder, 48%. And uh, Uh, are you expecting uh, uh, support from other minority、uh, shareholders or、uh, will you embark on hostile TOB if that's going to be necessary? What's your thinking behind that? Answer Kawamura speaking.、Uh, when was it when we Communicated our intention to acquire high technologies,、uh, uh, to acquire them about a year ago. And since a year ago, we continued negotiation. And in recent times, uh, we uh, uh, compiled a document、uh, of agreement. So it was a year ago when we first communicated. Question、uh, In recent times,、uh, you signed a document, you said, when was that? Answer.、Yeah. After January 1st,、uh, into New Year,、uh, we set out the conditions and put together a document. So, in January. Question、uh, If it happened in January, it's just a short while ago. I don't think we have had time to enlist、uh, cooperation or support from other shareholders.、Uh, is there any concern that、uh, some of the shareholders may oppose to this?、Uh, Well, answer. Of course,、uh, Hitachi High Technologies will go through their BOD, and a third、uh, a party committee is put together、uh, to go through the necessary procedures. So, certain procedures are followed. So, in that regard,、uh, no such concern exists. Question Thank you. The benefits of、uh, turning high technologies into a wholly owned、uh, subsidiary. Uh, but the semiconductor business、uh, is not mentioned as part of the benefit.、Uh, 2001, when high technologies uh, uh, was established,、uh, a semiconductor business was integrated. Uh, so, and then it was carved out and so forth. And so I still don't understand why you're trying to integrate, carve out. Uh, integrate or、uh, to sell it、uh, perhaps in the future down the road、uh, if there's an opportunity. What's your thinking on that?、Uh, answer、uh, Sorry for repeating what I said already. 2001, uh, we uh, put out、uh, our measurement business, semiconductor,、uh, in vitro、uh, business, in vitro medical business. These were uh, applications uh, uh, that were offered continuously, and this was、uh, carved out. And as I may repeat again, what's different、uh, from 2001 is that we now live in a digitized world. So, digital analysis and measurement、uh, technology, if the two can be put together, synergies can be derived.、Uh, that's、uh, different from 2001. So, what we're trying to do is uh, uh, to Uh, promote Lumada uh, business and、uh, the business that High Technologies has is going to be crucial、uh, in generating data necessary for Lumada business. A question Xcope as data platform、uh, they have uh, and uh, Lumada's、uh, business, how are the two going to collaborate with each other or coexist?、Uh, if it's going to be part of Lumada,、uh, Uh, will that expand to Lamada's business? And would you think that that's effective?、Uh, or is that still、uh, up for discussion in the future? Answer You may know, but I was one of the designers or architects、uh, behind、uh, Lumada. I was one of the people who came up with the architecture for Lumada. Basically, we're not going to integrate、uh, into Uh, Lumada. The platform at the bottom uh, of uh, data, there are so many different kinds in the world. We have to be able to connect them.、Uh, once you、uh, try to align yourself to one single platform, then you will be excluding a lot of customers who are not able to do so. 
Well, there are many Hitachi Group companies who have different uh, technologies and offerings, and they all have to be leveraged uh, uh, in an agile manner. So high technologies uh, may use something uh, to be successful, and that will uh, be turned into a use case so that it can be applied across the board, uh, across different subsidiaries and businesses. And that is uh, how the design is put together. We don't um, mean uh, that uh, everyone should be aligned toward Yumada. Uh, well, uh, well, use cases are established. Uh, their values uh, are fed into Lumada. That's how it's done. So question, Lumada is close to IT, and the businesses uh, are done by different subsidiaries, uh, are based on OT, local expertise, and they are to be incorporated uh, into Lumada? Is that the thinking? Uh, answer, yes, what is close to the physical space, uh, uh, there are different technologies and offerings uh, uh, from different businesses, and you're able to get data out of that. And by leveraging the data from different businesses, uh, Lumada can function. Question, well, thank you, understood. Ever since last year's announcement, Hitachi High Technologies, uh, equity price has gone up, uh, market cap is uh, over one trillion yen. And uh, uh, because of that, uh, have you decided to make the acquisition earlier? Answer. How shall I put it? We want to grow our business. We make investments into business and recoup our investment. That's the kind of player we are. So we're not overly conscious of the equity price. If we can uh, get return out of the investment that we made, we shall be successful. We're not necessarily adept at uh, uh, thinking along those lines. Uh, uh, that's ne not necessarily our main thinking or aim. For Lumada strategy, what is necessary, we think. So uh, we take that kind of strategic uh, view. That's our basic approach. I may not be answering your question, but uh, that's uh, our idea. Thank you. So, gentlemen in blue shirt. Question. Thank you. I have three questions. First, page nine, healthcare business enhancement. Uh, you mentioned you are going to address the last market, acquisition of last market. So, this is a layman's thinking, but laboratory automation system uh, i think it will have a good impact but why have you not been addressing this so far and by using hitachi lumada what uh, gives you the confidence to be able to address this market going forward that's my first question answer uh, both hitachi high technologies and Roche are aggressively addressing this market and right now, uh, the problem with the laboratory robot is uh, there are many uh, equipments and the specimen uh, have to move around, samples have to move around, and the interface is different, things uh, that you need to do is different. So high tech and Roche basic strategy is uh, there's a course, the in vitro diagnostic uh, platform. We want to integrate it into one and the specimen samples and everything will be put in there. And in the integrated fashion, we want to realize this automation. And in order to do that, the software needs to con connect and data need to be analyzed. We need this whole set. So software data analysis platform will be sizable. So both for, for both Roche and high-tech, digital IT software, uh, they do not have a very strong skills yet. So Hitachi Lumara want to collaborate and uh, make this great last system. So that's what we want to address. And as a follow-up, uh, Roche, have you heard anything from Roche? I cannot be too clear about that, but in the collaboration with Roche, we are uh, taking these actions. 
we've been working with Roche for over 40 years and R&D and other activities, uh, we are collaborating very strongly. So we want to work together. Question. My second question is your thinking on business portfolio. President Higashihara said they, they, he wants to generate one trillion yen business in healthcare. Healthcare is still small. So how do you th think of growing the business into a one trillion yen business? If you could explain again. Answer. The product related business and solution related business have to be considered diff separately. Product related business, uh, the volume play has to be at least one trillion yen in size. Otherwise, we cannot survive in this uh, world because there's commoditization and so we have to compete with a certain level of volume. So that's the story. On the other hand, healthcare and others, uh, in vitro diagnostics, we have the key equipment. If we combining this uh, to a vertical solution, it's combining them to create the vo vertical solution. So it's not just about volume in this area. So hundreds of billions uh, to 400, 500 billion uh, with growth potentiality, with high profitability. That's what we want to aim for in the healthcare business. Question, I understand. And last question, I'm sorry I'm repetitive, but in 2017, Hitachi Koksai uh, was taken out, deconsolidated. But now, uh, your view on the semiconductor production equipment market. Kojima-san, how have you changed your views? Answer. This world of semiconductor is becoming more connected. Uh, we are thinking of this as an entire value chain now. So Hitachi High Technologies strategy, as I understand, is the next generation semiconductor process. Uh, the uh, production, manufacturing, etchers are now first invited in. And then to make that, uh, we think of how the testing has to take place. So for Hitachi High Technologies, uh, etcher is, uh, takes the customer demand and identify what you need to do. So that's the value chain model. And use that in CDSM. And the uh, data is connected in the value chain. And uh, Mr. President Aoki said uh, the edge, the border, uh, the, uh, which becomes the edgy part, becomes the growth potentiality. So from the standalone equipment, I think we're moving in that direction. And we hope to utilize uh, this movement. That's the what high tech and we are thinking of. Any other questions? Please go ahead. Question. Just one question I would like to ask about uh, the acquisition price earlier. Kamara-san said uh, that uh, about a year ago, uh, you started contacting high technologies. I think uh, back then the equity price of high technologies was 4,000 yen. This time uh, you're saying that the acquisition price is 8,000 yen, very high. And yet you're embarking on this acquisition to turn high technologies into a wholly owned subsidiary. Do you think the price is appropriate? Uh, how do you see that? I would like your view. And another point is a year ago, you must have had an idea as to how much you were prepared to pay. And uh, uh, actually, the acquisition price is double what it was a year ago. And I'm sure the business plan must have changed. Uh, even with a higher acquisition price, uh, I think uh, you've thought that uh, it justifies the acquisition and you must have come up with a different business plan to justify uh, the T 
TOB. So uh, the profit or the synergies that you are envisioning uh, today, as opposed to a year ago, what would that be? Answer. So a year ago, their equity price was 4,000 yen, and it's doubled today. What's our assessment on that? I believe that's what you're asking. Uh, we pursue fair value, naturally. A year ago, uh, uh, we, look at, we looked at the equity price. That was the starting point. And through three methodologies, uh, we confirmed the fair value. One is the traditional cash flow based uh, valuation, uh, translating that into present value. And second, based on equity price. Equity price uh, fluctuates. Uh, in terms of the equity price, what is the most appropriate acquisition price? Third uh, is comparison of comps, comparables in the industry. So through these three methodologies, we had a number of discussions. So we calculated fair value many times uh, and ultimately decided on the acquisition price we're announcing today. So uh, considering all that work done in the past year, we have come up with this uh, fair value, and I believe the price today works. And uh, of course, things have changed compared to a year ago, and uh, we have decided on this price we are announcing today. Uh, just to supplement what he said, DCF included, uh, uh, we looked at uh, various methodologies. We asked uh, for advice from FA. Not that valuation has risen all that much. Uh, it's true that uh, uh, in this industry, multiples have risen. Uh, but uh, if you look, are based on DCF, we look at high technologies, uh, medium term business plan. Uh, what is the certainty, probability? Uh, we calculate based on that. And that hasn't changed all that much. So uh, the acquisition price uh, is well within the fair value range. And that was uh, the understanding of the FA uh, as well. I hope you'll understand. Question understood. So according to what you explained, uh, semiconductor equipment uh, business, because volatility is uh, now different, uh, it's down. You have made a decision to expand this business as Hitachi. So uh, you are to perform TOB at the price of 8,000 yen. And uh, after a while, uh, you may once again change your mind, uh, saying that semiconductor business is volatile and you would want to carve this business out or sell it. And in that case, the price would be much lower. Uh, so. Uh, are you sure that you want to expand the semiconductor business going forward? Answer, I'm sorry for repeating, but uh, Etcher and CDSM business, uh, these are the two pillars of the business model for high technologies from how I see it. And it's the electronic uh, microscope uh, technology for measurement that's at the basis of this. That's how I look at their business. And what kind of synergies can be derived uh, in combination with uh, Lumada? What is the volatility? We made an overall judgment. And as a result, we made a decision uh, to turn this business into a wholly owned subsidiary. Thank you. Question. So enhancement of the healthcare business, so cyber, physical system, I think it's a data-driven world. So how you can develop this business, especially from monetization point of view. So in uh, areas related to smart city, I think you need patience here. So what timeline do you have in mind and which order do you want to expand this business and monetize? For example, Initially, uh, it, uh, you will monetize by mo uh, maintenance and then automation and then system of system. So if there are keywords that you could share with us, I'd appreciate it. Answer, thank you very much. So starting with the timeline, so we have steps one, two, and three. Uh, we will start the investment at the same time. And uh, when will the harvesting time phase me? Step one, 
uh, from 2021 medium term management plan, I think we can start harvesting. And step two, in North America, uh, we are starting to see the emerging startups. But uh, it will be our 2024 medium term management plan. This is when we are thinking of harvesting the fruit. And step three, uh, this will mainly be the laboratory uh, initially, and we are delivering to the pharmaceutical companies and re uh, IPS uh, cell and uh, cell, uh, the c cancer and cell culture. If we think of all these area, it will be the next medium term management plan, 2027. So to repeat myself, the investment will be simultaneous, but the harvesting phase will be three years apart from each other. Question. Step two. Where, which area do you think you can monetize first? Answer. Step two. In PHM market, the areas that are starting to generate profit is the insurance companies. Uh, the uh, uh, insurance uh, pay, is paid to the patients in the hospitals. So based on value-based medicine, uh, this system can be optimized. And we receive money from the insurance companies for that. So that's what we have in mind. I think that is the one typical business model. There's still some inefficiencies. The money is being paid, but for the money that is being paid, the analytics uh, can optimize the current system more significantly. And this will be a win-win for the healthcare system and the patients and for related parties. So I think that will be the first monetization point. Question, in this healthcare business, the people who can promote the digi uh, di digital transformation, how much people do you have in OT and IT? Uh, those who have knowledge on the front line, compared to other business areas, uh, maybe you have fewer people in the healthcare. And if that is the case, you may need m as a answer. Uh, this has some regional uh, differences, including overseas markets. And this PHM market is first taking off in North America, so we need some inorganic measures. I cannot talk about specifics now, but that is what we will do in the f in the future. Thank you. Any other questions? I see a hand in the back. Question. I have one question regarding semiconductor manufacturing equipment. Uh, with the lineup that you mentioned earlier, can synergies with Lumada really be expected? Semiconductor Manufacturing equipment is becoming finer and finer, and uh, interaction between processes are cru becoming crucial. With the lineup of Hitachi, do you think that you can actually derive synergies, or do you think uh, you need to uh, complement, strengthen that answer? That's a wonderful question. Well, I have not done enough homework, and that is something that we need to discuss further. We really have to listen well uh, to customers, Intel, uh, TCMC, uh, we have uh, joint laboratories uh, that we run with them. So we need to look at what's happening there uh, to come up with uh, a strategy to strengthen that. That becomes crucial. Thank you. Question. I have two questions. In healthcare, the in vitro diagnostics and the particle therapy systems will be at the core. Uh, the X-ray, medical has X-ray, but you sell that and you are sell, uh, choosing particle therapy systems. 
So not X-ray, but choosing particle therapy systems. You can expect synergy. What was the uh, background that led to this decision? Answer. So your question is about X-ray, the image capturing equipment. Yes, what Hitachi Medical had, X-ray analysis equipment. So you sold that out, off. And you chose particle beam therapy, PBT, as a source of synergy. So you decided that this combination is promising. What led to that decision? Answer. So there's the, uh, for x-ray, there's the imaging equipment to judge whether it's a lung cancer or not. And Hitachi Medical, uh, this imaging, uh, it was the imaging uh, equipment. And PBT, this is a treatment equipment. So cancer cell is targeted and killed. So that's the PBT treatment. So what we're thinking of is that this PBT has low invasiveness. It's minimally invasive. Uh, this uh, is rather detailed, but PBT, the cancer, the exact point of cancer, the energy can be released to exactly on the cancer position. So it does not impact the, the uh, channel in the middle. So that's why PBT is drawing attention. It does not impact the other organs, other tissue. It can target the cancer itself. That's the advantage. And there are many patients we can save with that. And we, from social value point of view, we want this minimally invasive treatment so people can take two or three days off for treatment while continuing working and target the cancer and kill the cancer and continue working. So this will dramatically impact or contribute to the QOL of people. We think this is crucial. So that's why particle beam therapy is what we are trying to invest and enhance and we purchased Mitsubishi's business. And uh, we are now number two. We're coming close to world's number one business. The X-ray imaging uh, equipment is a commodity. So if we do this more, we need to create more synergy and image imaging. So Fujifilm uh, is very strong in the diagnostic imaging. And so we thought that the business can grow better if we leave it in their hands. Question. I understand PBT well. So my question is, X-ray is commoditizing. So global number one business model in pursuing this business model you thought that combining it with PBT is, has more sense, makes more sense to grow in the future. Answer, yes. I may have not answered directly, but yes, that's what I think. Question. In Hitachi Limited, you are taking in Hitachi High Technologies. You already have a close relationship, a very long-lasting relationship. So by making it a wholly owned subsidiary, uh, you can achieve high growth rate and high profitability, you said at the outset. So, by taking in Hitachi High Technologies, what kind of growth and what kind of profit margin can we expect? We will be watching uh, this business in Hitachi. So, how do you think it will change? The growth rate and profit margin. What level do you anticipate? And uh, would you disclose this to external parties like ourselves? Answer. Uh, the growth opportunities, if we combine this with IT and digital, there will be more growth opportunities. As I mentioned earlier, 
So how can this be made visible to you? I will see how I can do that because it's an important point. Thank you. Any other questions? Question. So this time uh, you are turning high technologies into a wholly owned uh, uh, subsidiary. You talked about synergies, but uh, what is the quantific uh, effect? Uh, uh, when will that uh, realize? Uh, if you could uh, comment more specifically to the extent that you can answer. That's exactly the question uh, it was posed to me by the president. Uh, we're now uh, implementing the 2021 medium management uh, plan. In June, we're going to have another Hitachi IR day. The last time we had that event, uh, I, I gave a preview as to what's going to happen. And uh, this time, Given that this deal is going to be completed, uh, I would like to share the outlook uh, of uh, what the synergies are going to be. To the extent that I can, I would like to say what I can. At this question, at this moment, uh, it's difficult to share details. Correct. Uh, my second question, uh, you talked about utilizing frontline people and uh, collaborating with Hitachi's procurement uh, division. So. The consumer business, given Hitachi's profitability's uh, target, uh, synergies with uh, Lumada, I'm not really sure how uh, it will mesh with uh, what you're proposing in terms of Lumada. Well, uh, answer uh, uh, the, the trading uh, capabilities, uh, it could mean a lot. For example, uh, there's this procurement capability to source uh, materials uh, as part of industry solutions. Half of that uh, is engaged in that capability. So uh, that uh, can be combined with Hitachi's procurement capability or Hitachi's procurement function. Uh, I think we need to sort out the capabilities and divisions uh, from an overall point of view. Well, as Hitachi Technologies are saying, uh, in areas where profitability cannot be expected, uh, they're planning to withdraw. So uh, we have to sort out the businesses so that uh, uh, we can uh, keep the businesses that meet the profitability criteria for Hitachi. So we would like to take one last question. Question. I have one question. Lumada, uh, you are the father of Lumada, so I want to ask you this question. Lumada, there are areas that you will not know until you actually try. So sorting of the business. Uh, so you are aiming for synergy in smart life. And if it doesn't work out, then you will carve out without any sanctuary. Hitachi Logistics is now like that. So you carved out, but it turns out that it uses Lumara. So as there was a press release, uh, will you be flexible in taking it in, in again? Is that the way you think about the businesses? Answer. Yes, you're exactly right. The situation is changing very rapidly. On the other hand, including R&D, the technology is changing. So if we do something too quickly, if we become too haste, we will not, not be too uh, successful. So we have to be flexible. So we're not fixated on the idea of um, uh, sticking with the portfolio. I would love to do that, but the situation does not allow me to do that. So we want to have a good dialogue with the capital markets and come up with the optimal direction and take concrete measures. Thank you. With that, we would like to close today's briefing. Thank you very much. Thank you.